mean, we're looking at a electric motor and setup that we've seen before, but at that time you were, it was just talk. It's more than talk now. It's a lot more than talk because now it's bench tested and next week, uh, and it would have been flight tested, but the, the storm came through right before, so I'm a couple days late for the show. But everything's running now, everything's working, and I'll really have a lot to talk about next week when I get my hour, hour and a half in the Zigolo, and then shortly after that flight in the, in the Merlin. Uh, okay, so, so you're first going to install this in your Zigolo, which is a, a very ultralight-like aircraft that we've yeah, seen a, before, yes. and we have some video about that as well. You can look at that. But this motor is going to go in that, but it can also go yeah, same in the motor. Merlin. Okay. Same motor. It's cool. a matter. The it's only 25 pounds, but but uh, it, it operates from zero to 75 horsepower. It's ah, just really? a matter of of how much uh, battery you have, and and, and batteries okay. are heavy and expensive. So. Uh, on the Zigolo, I can, I'll fly at about 25 horsepower and get in the air and then back down to 15. On the Merlin, it's a bigger, faster aircraft, but it's it's very, very clean. So I can Cleaner fly, than the Zigolo. I can fly yeah, less horsepower and go 50 miles an hour for an hour and a half on the Merlin. Is that right? Hour yeah. and a half. Now, is that with, we're going to, let's look at the elements here, but go ahead and fire it up for us. Let's see it run. Okay, clear prop. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> So you can see I can run very slow or I can spin it up. the part that uh, people look at and tend to think of this as the electrical system but of course it's not the system that's just the motor itself spinning a prop you got batteries you got controller walk me through what it is we're, we've got here chip well you have a, a very unique battery in that uh, it's a 65 amp hour it's the highest uh, power to weight ratio energy density um, available and what, what's unique about it is we've we've taken up or we've got this um, our, our proprietary a uh, mixture of elements. It's uh, lithium, cobalt, and uh, nickel, and it's uh, encased in a carbon Kevlar braid, and that makes it uh, very strong and very light. So we don't have a, a issue with uh, the batteries, um, any fault with them. And the controllers here, and, the, and because it's a the motor itself is an axial flux motor, so it's run by a computer that's brushless. So the computer basically is right here that runs the motor. Okay, this is a computer for the motor. Right, right. And these and are the a whole series of batteries yeah. here with, with 21 kind of spacing cells. between them and so right, forth? Right, that, that allows for good cooling. But what's nice about the batteries is you can put them in any configuration you like. You can ah, put them so in they the, don't have to be stacked like no, this? No, they no. could be laid out flat? or You could actually just put them in a, in a long... A long uh, tube and put them in the leading edge. Ah, okay. Or you can put some baggage or something. So any way engine. you can connect them up, it doesn't matter yeah, about that part. Exactly, because okay. each one is an independent cell. Okay. Okay. And, and this is 21 cells, and that's good for an hour in the Zigolo, and that still meets the Part 103 rules for uh, Okay, the, you could make weight. Part 103 at that yes. number then. Okay. Yeah. Now I can I can I can add uh, 30. I'll go up to 35 cells, and I could get as much as uh, two hours on the Merlin. Is that right? By okay, yeah. so by, by doubling the approximately doubling it or half again as much. Okay, and then what's the component we see over here well, on the other the side? That's just the charger. It's a, oh, okay. Plug this, it into the wall. Okay, and how long does it take to it charge? Takes two all and that? a half hours. Two to, and a half to, hours to charge. Yeah. So you can go fly for an hour. Yeah. Come down, plug it in, let it charge for two and a half hours, and then right. you're ready to go again. Right. And what kind of money is it to charge them up? Oh, it's only a few cents. A few cents of yeah. electricity. Yeah. So we're, uh, you can find more about uh, Aero Marine LSA-LSA.com. Find out about the Merlin PSA, the uh, float system, and this electrical system. And I'm going to have news about when that flies here coming up very shortly. You can find that and all kinds of affordable aviation on ByDanJohnson.com.